Mr. Investor Lot, welcome back to the channel. Ooh, do I have some news for you, baby? So Workhorse had this initial spike that went absolutely crazy this morning. But why is that? Is it because Congress is positioned to push for new electric mail trucks? Yes, baby, they are looking for US lawmakers to introduce a bill to give USPS $6 billion for new EV vehicles. So when it was announced we didn't get the USPS contract, I watched the juicy profits fall from the 42 high all the way down into the valley of despair. And on Friday, on Friday, we went as low as $12.03. Sense. So we're going to cover this hot and fresh news and if you guys are able to and you want to support my channel just join my Patreon we're building out a Discord group to talk everything stocks and you'll get news hot and fresh out the kitchen all the videos that I'm going to be working on and we can have a general chat about stocks. So hopefully the Discord is going to be ready for this weekend but if you're unable to join and you just want to help support the channel just you clicking like and subscribe on this video means the world to me. I love you guys. Let's get into it. So the first news that popped out to me was this article the financial post and they were talking about a group of 17 House Democrats on Monday introducing legislation that is going to award $6 billion to the USPS Postal Service so they can buy tens of thousands of additional electric delivery vehicles. And this time we will not be cheated because the bill sponsored by Representative Jared Huffman and seen by Reuters would require at least 75% of the new fleet to be electric or zero emission vehicles. Who remembers this back in October when California Air Resources Board gave us the standard saying that we are CARB certified? So they stated that our C-1000 extended range delivery truck is designated this model as a zero emission vehicle in the state of California. So we are both fully electric and we are zero emission. Now last month this was a slap in the face. They said only 10% of that USPS contract, the previous one they were talking about, is going to be electric vehicles. And then they gave the money to Oshkosh. So their USPS gave $482 million contract to Oshkosh to finalize their actual product. So that contract there would be worth more than $6 billion in total, that previous contract, and it would allow the delivery of 50,000 to 165,000 vehicles over 10 years. And when they confronted the US Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, he told lawmakers last month, we don't have the extra three or four billion in our plan right now to make do with it. Well, baby, here's another six billion, and this time it's only for electric vehicles. We're talking 75% at least. So I don't know if this was a tactical play by the USPS um, in order to get you know, more sum of money, a greater sum, a big chunk. So now they're saying here on trucks.com, they're saying it's in Congress's and the administration's move now. Threatening to cancel the contract is counterproductive. So that's probably why they're writing up this new bill. So on trucks.com, they were stating actually that they believe that Congress should give the USPS capital upfront it needs for Oshkosh to produce the EV vehicles from the get-go. So now the question on everybody's lips is, will Workhorse be getting some of this uh, new contract or is it just going to be to extend and give to Oshkosh for them to actually build out these EV vehicles? Always remember this is not financial advice for entertainment only, but for me, looking at it, they haven't even built a proper prototype. Oshkosh is still trying to finalize that design. So there's no guarantee that Workhorse can actually see any of this $6 billion and it may just go to Oshkosh again, or they could open up the bidding to other people. But for me, with or without this contract, I believe we're going to see some more sales in the future. I just want to see us develop our product, develop the refrigeration unit, get these deals of all these uh, last mile delivery companies. But if we do see a piece of this contract, oh baby, that could be so juicy. And we have to be really careful about the terminology here. We need to see what they're planning to do, whether the rest of the money is just going to go to Oshkosh anyway so they can start to build out EV vehicles or if we're going to get any vehicle orders from the USPS. Or maybe they'll even give it to Carsan. We never know. But I would love for them to give it to our beloved workhorse group. And this is also just breaking news right here. This is the Rosen Law Firm filing securities class action lawsuit against workhorse group. Oh baby, they're trying to get a piece of our pie. So Yahoo has also come forward with this news now. And let's see if we get any chunk of this new EV bill. This is a quote from um, an Ohio Democrat called Ryan. He said, it definitely stinks and it needs to be looked at at the highest levels. This was when Tim Ryan was talking about the 524,400 shares Oshkosh deal. This came in after hours trading on February 22 ahead of the company's surprise win of the postal truck contract. So Tim Ryan has also been demanding for an investigation which has added fuel to the fire for Workhorse long shot bid to overturn its loss to Oshkosh. So he's still pursuing this. Ryan said he is drafting a letter to the SEC and he's joined with Ohio Democrats Marcy Kaptur and Senator Sherrod Brown in calling for the Biden administration to halt and review the Postal Service Award to Oshkosh. So how would this play out? With 
with the new EV bill, is that going to be separate to the USPS contract and solely for electric vehicles? Or would they actually try and get this overturned by Biden and get a bigger budget? Because this could be absolutely insane. It looks like a story that is just breaking before our eyes. And we're just going to see how it plays out down the line. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thank you very much for coming over to my channel. Any new people over here, just hit that subscribe button. Come and join the family. And if you're able to join my channel memberships, it's only 99 cents. And it helps me to create good quality, up-to-date content for you guys. But if you're unable to, just you hitting the like and hitting the subscribe button means the world to me. I love you guys. Drop me some comments below. Tell me your thoughts and feelings. If you hold workhorse, if you'll consider holding workhorse and the whole shebang, whatever your thoughts and feelings are and any other stocks you'd like me to cover, any other news, let me know, baby. Mr. Invest a lot. Over and out, baby.